Hello everybody, greeting. Today we will speak about uh, mechanics L07, which is Newton's second law. With you, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Newton's second law, one of the laws of motion for the scientist uh, Newton. Newton's second law uh, states uh, the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the same direction in which the force acts. <coughs> we can, <coughs> we know that the momentum is mass times equal mass times velocity the rate of the momentum when the mass is constant equal mass times acceleration because the rate of change of velocity is the acceleration so we can transfer this uh, newton second law in this equation which is mass times acceleration equal force acting on the body you must know that mass times acceleration equal force acting on the body this is the newton second law you must take these units mass must be in kilogram and the acceleration must be in meter per second square and the force must be in newton or you can use Another unit, mass in gram and acceleration in centimeter per second square, and the force must be in dime. <coughs> Let's go to solve some problems. First example, a body has <coughs> 50 kilogram mass on the earth. Find its weight. Number A, on the earth, where the acceleration of gravity of the earth is 9.8 meter per second square number b on the moon where the acceleration of the moon is 1.7 meter per second square finally c on the sun where the acceleration of gravity gravity of the sun is 270 meter per second square let's solve this problem weight of the body on the earth which is the force of gravity equal mass times acceleration mass is 50 kilogram and acceleration is 9.8 so the weight of the body on the earth is 490 uh, weight of the body on the moon <coughs> equal 50 times 1.7 which is 85 newton this is the weight on the moon the weight uh, variable from earth to the moon because the acceleration of gravity is variable uh, finally the weight of the body on the sun uh, is a mass times acceleration of the gravity of the sun which is 50 times 220 and equal 13,500 newton Let's go to try to solve another problem. A man of mass 60 kg dives vertically downward into a swimming pool. From a tower of height 20 meters, he was found to go down in water by 2 meters and then started rising. Find the average resistance of the water. Neglect the resistance of air. This problem has two stages. First stage is uh, 20 meters, which is the height of the tower. The body, the force acting on the body is only the weight. The weight of the body is only the force because we neglect the resistance of air. <coughs> After that, in the second stage of the motion, we, uh, the body will uh, go inside the water which is two meters 
the displacement in the water is 2 meters. And the forces acting on the body in the second stage is the weight and the resistance of the water. We will try to solve this problem in two <coughs> steps. First step in the first stage, which is in the air, <coughs> uh, which is free fall. We will find the final velocity. We know that the initial velocity is zero and the acceleration is acceleration of gravity 9.8 and <coughs> the displacement is 20 meter. From that, we can find the final velocity by kinematic equation. V square equal U square plus 2GS. Uh, U equals zero plus 2 times 9.8 times 20. And from that, we can find the uh, final velocity, which is 19.8 meter per second. Let's go to the second stage. And we know that the final velocity of the first stage is the initial velocity to the second stage. Uh, and we will use the kinematic equation because we know the uh, final velocity is equal to zero, initial velocity is 19.8, and the displacement, which is 2 meters, and from that we can find the acceleration. Uh, final velocity equals zero, uh, initial velocity equal 19.8, and plus 2a times displacement is equal to, from that we can find the acceleration, which is negative uh, 98 meter per second square. Uh, we will apply the Newton second law. The forces acting on the body in the second stage is the weight and the resistance of the water. So W minus R equal mass times acceleration. W is the weight, which is 60 times the acceleration of gravity 9.8 minus r equals 60 times negative 98. From that, we can find the resistance, which is equal, which is equal 6,468 newton. Let's go to another concept, free body diagram. What is the free body diagram? Free body diagrams are the diagrams used to show the relative magnitude and the direction of all forces acting upon an object in given situation. Uh, the direction of the arrow shows the direction uh, that the forces is acting. Objects doesn't necessarily always have four forces acting open, up on. This is free body diagram. Uh, represent the forces acting on the body and the direction of this force. Uh, <coughs> you must you must know the direction and the magnitude of the forces or, or calculate them uh, on uh, acting on the body. This is the free body diagram. You must you mustn't and any force doesn't affect on this body, okay? Uh, let's try to solve this problem. This problem, a 10 kilogram block is connected to a 40 kilogram block, as shown in the figure. <coughs> the surface on that the blocks slides is frictionless. There is no friction. A force of 50 newton pulls the plug. What is the magnitude of the tension T in the rope that connect the two blocks? You can stop the video and try to solve. The solve of the problem is B, which is 10 newton. How? Suppose that this is one body, 
of mass 50 kg because the tension between the two bodies is cancel each other so the acceleration uh, we can apply Newton second law 50 newtons equal 50 kg times acceleration from that the acceleration equal 1 so we find the acceleration of the body or the two body if we draw free body diagram to the first block which is 40 kg these two forces acting on this block which is 30 newton and the tension so 50 minus t equal 40 times the acceleration which is 1 from that we can find t with equal 10 this is the answer you can you can use the second block which is 10 kilogram the force acting in this block is only the tension the tension and we will we will apply newton second law the tension equal ma mass times acceleration t equal 10 kilogram times when the acceleration so we find t equal 10 and the same answer so if we draw free body diagram free body diagram to the first or the second we will uh, 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 take the same solution let's go to the first application on uh, Newton's second law motion of a system of two bodies hanging vertically from the ends of string which passes, o passes over a pulley suppose that m2 greater than m1 To the first uh, body, M2, uh, the motion downward, so the force acting on the body is M2G weight and the tension. M2G minus T equal M2 times acceleration. For the second body, which is M1, the motion is upward so the t minus m1g equal m1 times acceleration same acceleration if we adding these two equations and find the acceleration we can uh, find that the acceleration equal m2 minus m1 over m1 plus m2 times g the acceleration of gravity this is the acceleration of the system uh, and we can find also the tension from any of the two equations we can find the tension the pressure on the pulley the pressure on the pulley is the resultant of the two tension the two tension is equal and in the same direction so the pressure on the pulley is equal to t okay let's go to another application for example uh, look at this problem and you can stop the video and try to solve uh, the answer of this uh, problem is c how first we can find the acceleration a equal m2 minus m1 over m1 plus m2 times g which is the acceleration of gravity in this problem we uh, consider the acceleration is 10 so the acceleration will be equal uh, 10 over 9 suppose that this is two body not three two body in the, the first body is 8 kilogram and the second body is 10 kilogram from that we can find the acceleration which is 10 over 9 and we will take the uh, body 3 kilogram uh, 4 kilogram 
the body for kilogram and uh, apply new to second law on this body uh, the two forces acting on this body is the weight and the tension between the two uh, masses four and six so 40 newton for kilogram times acceleration minus t equal four mass times acceleration which is 10 over 9 from that we can find the tension which which is 320 over 9 newton and this is the answer okay let's go to a second application the motion of system of two bodies on one of them move moving on a smooth horizontal plane the other moving vertically as figure uh, there is two bodies uh, for the first body which is vertically motion downward so m2 g minus t equal m2 times acceleration and this is the first equation for the second body there is only the force t there is no friction t equal m1 times acceleration from adding to uh, this two equation we can find the acceleration equal m2 over m1 plus m2 times g and also we can find the pressure which is the resultant of two tension Uh, t and t and the angle between them is 90 we can find the resultant which is uh, the pressure is equal root 2 over t and the uh, pressure uh, is uh, basic the angle between the two tensions okay uh, finally uh, this is uh, third a problem uh, a body two body body on a horizon a uh, climb plane and body is in uh, hanging in uh, from the wall vertically uh, we want to find the acceleration of the system this problem to you try to solve and we will see you next video inshallah thank you